What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Lord Master Boston is here with another awesome video. So in today's video, guys, I want to let you know that I'm so fucking mad that the Pinnacle beat the Inner Circle in blood and guts. That should not have happened. The Inner Circle should have won that fair and square. It go. It it should it should have gone with the storyline. It. Like, I'm, like, I, like, guys, like, I'm legitimately, like, actually mad at the decision. There have been stuff in the past that I've had to pull through <clears throat> the Kofi Kingston storyline of 2019 or the, uh, Andrade and Angel Garza against Street Profits for six months in a row storyline. I, I... It, 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 it honestly sometimes it's just been hard you know but this was the absolute worst decision that AEW's made hands down I am so mad at AEW right now it, it's not gonna last forever I know it's not going to it's just it should not have happened MJF is the biggest piece of shit in the history of professional wrestling and you don't let that man win a match called Blood and Guts. And this is how he won. This is how he won, guys. Okay. So, MJF and Chris Jericho are at the, are at the top of the cage, right? You know, like like usual. Like a usual Blood and Guts match. Um, so, MJF is yelling down at the inner circle that unless you surrender, he's going to throw him off the top of the cage. So, that's like 20 feet. So Sammy was telling him no, and MJ was like, oh, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And Sammy said, fine, we surrender. And then two minutes later, he still throws him off of the fucking cage. No, that's not how this works. The inner circle needed, and I mean needed, to win that match. It would have gone fantastic with the storyline. It would have just, it would have just gone right. Everything would have been fine. But no, AEW just decided to pull a WWE move right there and say fuck the audience. I, like, like honestly, I can't. Like that's. All I have to say, it's just I'm I'm so fucking pissed. Like I really am. It should not, it should not have happened. It's, it's it honestly, it's a disgrace that it happened. But don't get me wrong, guys. There's 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 one thing I will say that was good. The blood and guts match lived up to all the hype that it was supposed to. I loved every minute of it. But when you pull a decision like that for the match finish, or at least the final spot of the match, I, I just, I can't agree with it. It's, I, I don't know, there's just so much shit involved that just, I, I can, I can go on on a rant. I'm just, I'm just gonna say it, like, it, it literally should not have happened. It should not have happened one bit AEW we're not on good terms right now and that's not something I wanna I wanna have happen AEW's been fine up until this literally up until this I've had no problem with AEW other than the Marco stunt thing against Lance Archer that was the only problem I had and even that wasn't a problem this is legitimately a problem with me because now, forever in history, that piece of shit is going to have the ability to brag that he won a blood and guts match. And he made Sammy Guevara also say the words, I surrender. That's... That's all I have to say. I'm, I'm like, like, I'm so mad. Like, I didn't even want to make a video, but I knew I had to upload every day. So, I was just... I'm sorry you guys had to see me like this, and I'm sorry you had to hear me ramble on for five minutes, but, 
Um, just... I appreciate the, the support and all this stuff and all this other schmigadong that's going on, but honestly, I hope you guys just still continue to watch the videos, keep enjoying the videos, and smash the like button. Please subscribe, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!